When Dorothy told me about her decision to end her life, um, I've written about my reaction to that. But I know that she had very strong feelings about um, how to live and how to die. And maybe you could talk a little bit about um, your converse conversations with her on that subject. Well, she didn't talk to me about having made the decision to die until very, very late in the process. But I know from, from after she lost Bruce, the, the boys and she had a different idea than we have in our Western culture about the decision to end your life. The, the, the act of suicide, which is so taboo in our society, and it is in every society, but, but if you come from an Eastern culture, the idea of reincarnation, the idea that we're all always here in one form, either the form of energy or the form of matter, it kind of changes a little bit your uh, take on whether your physical body needs to be here. I, I felt at the end like, like she felt like it wasn't, she didn't want to hang on anymore. She had hung on for so many years after the boys were gone and she tried to make her life something that had meaning in it. You know, she taught me so much just about the way she traveled, you know, with so much patience. Travel is hard. Travel taxes you, you know, it really makes you come face yourself. And she had so much patience and so much enjoyment. She knew how to really live in each moment. That came out of her yoga practice and her meditation practice. She really learned how to live in that very systematic and mindful and conscious way. And it felt like to me that she got to the point where she very consciously was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done doing this. I don't see enough reason to carry on. I have no children. I have no family. You know, my ties are, are very loose to the living world. Mm -hmm. I think it was hard for people who knew how she did embrace travel and adventure and new experiences to, to think that she was able to let go of that. Can you talk a little bit about what she was like when she was traveling? I mean, like, what kind of things did she do that, that really capitalized on the experience? Oh, well, you know, traveling, especially Dorothy would never go to the, you know, she wanted very out of the way places, very remote, very hard places to travel to. So one of our first conversations, we were kind of butt cheek to butt cheek on this bouncy, bouncy bus in Nicaragua. And uh, we stopped at one point and one of our guides said that someone had stolen his, I forget, his camera or something. And so we had to bike or walk like an hour back into the jungle to go get it back from the guy who'd taken it. And all of us on the bus just kind of <laughs> sat there for two hours and people would get grumpy and people would get thirsty. And Dorothy was absolutely just, this is what we're doing now. Now we're sitting on the bus, and now it's another this hour, and we're sitting on the bus, yeah. yeah. And we eventually jounced home again. But I, I got a great lesson out of that, you know, as, as people were pretty short on patience. I think she and had a lot she, of patience. She really um, was eager to do um, not traditional tourist things, but to really try to make some connection with the people. Absolutely. The volunteer component was very important to her. And you know, she would come home and then do, uh, what do you call it, slideshows at yeah. the nursing's home with her people. So there was two kinds of service, the service and gathering this new experience, and then sharing it with people at the end of their lives who, for whom this was a big deal to have a slideshow of Nicaragua or elsewhere. Right. Yeah. And originally it was slideshows. I mean, later yes, it she was. learned how to do PowerPoint. That's but originally right. she had like thousands of, of slides. Of slides. Yeah. yeah. She lived a very conscious life, you know, and that included the decision at the end, which was painful. Painful for all of us to think, think that we didn't mean enough or life didn't mean enough, you know. Right. But it was her decision. Do you think she was depressed? I, I wouldn't venture to say, you know, I wouldn't venture to say. Dorothy held herself. She was very reserved and self-possessed. I don't know what goes on inside. Yeah.